just back from a very windy and wet um, dog walk um, but I've been speaking to a few um, other Bell's Palsy people on various um, platforms and um, so I thought I'd do a day 10 video because you can probably see that the biggest change that's happened over the last two days is that instead of talking up here all the time I'm now talking at the front of my mouth. I'm in a huge amount of pain around my ear, down here, down here, my cheek, but I literally, it's like a horse has kicked me in the face here. Um, and if you can see my eye, I just tape it like this all the time now. The thing that I have noticed with my eye is that the open bit that really is affected is this inside here. It's a very different shape to this side. And I think that's where the dryness really comes. So, um, and it tends to like really dry out in the evening. So um, during the day it tends to be okay, but from about now on, and it's, I don't know, half past five, something like that, um, this this will start to kind of drive me insane um, and I'll have to tape it shut again. And um, you'll see when I shut it, it just doesn't want to shut there. So I'm really having, I'm putting lots of wetting drops there. But um, in terms of movement, Shutting my eye happens if I really try. There's a little bit of movement in my eyebrow there. Look, um, cheek, I, I still can't scrunch my nose, but there is some movement in my cheek that is coming back. Kissing is much more forward. Talking is much more forward. And um, so I think day 10 uh, is looking good. It's just, is extremely painful. Um, and that's my my day 10 update. I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. New, new Vels Palsy, new me.